Thank you for so much for coming over to Patreon and supporting the channel. This video is exclusive to you and the series of my favorite Pokemon. Now, you've seen the first half of this list on YouTube, I'm sure. If you haven't, make sure to head on over and check it out. Support the channel. It, although, if you're watching this video, you are supporting the channel. So, let's get right into it. Now, as you already know, this list is based off of the Pokemon that I like. It has nothing to do with top tier best battling conditions, none of that. It just is Pokemon that I am attracted to and think are wonderful Pokemon, and it's all based off my opinions. So, Electabuzz is from Gen 1. It's this weird cat thing, I guess it is. Who knows? But I actually like Electabuzz over Electivire. And, you know, I like that it has more speed and I still like to picture it like doing the punching moves, even though I like the buzz, like it has some more speed and it has more special attack. So if you were already like teaching your Electabuzz like Thunder, Thunderbolt, and like Shockwave, the never miss electric move, you know, you were still pretty good because you could capitalize on the fact that Electabuzz has higher special attack. Uh, also, I don't know, it's just something about how unusual, like it's got the um, I guess you could say Tesla coils or maybe electrodes coming out of its head and you know those really like uh, yellow and then it's got the black thunder marks on it or maybe there's stripes and even the tail is cool too like I don't know maybe it's just because I have the nostalgia factor and growing up with it I don't know but yeah Electabuzz is like a really cool Pokemon that I enjoy and will often look to for a viable Pokemon for the electric type. Next, when I was playing Pokemon Diamond, I caught a Shanks, and of course, it, be it evolves to Luxio and then Luxray. Luxray is pretty awesome. Um, now, it's one of the first Pokemon to have, I mean, other than the Nidorans, of course. But in Gen 4, they introduced gender differences where you could tell, like, see what the difference is between a male and a female Pokemon. That having been said, uh, I had a female Luxray and it had a shorter mean. I couldn't find a PNG file for it, so you're seeing the regular male maned Luxray, in which it has a wider and more like puffed out mean. Not that it really matters. Now, my Luxray had rivalry, so when it battles with um, another, it, when it battled with another Pokemon of the same gender, its attack would go up, but when it was battling the Pokemon of the same gender, its attack would go down. That I didn't really know like how that worked or what that meant, but unfortunately that made for some tough times. Now the other abilities that uh, a Luxray can have is Intimidate, which is amazing. You can go into battle, lower the opponent's attack. Cool. I don't really care for rivalry because, well, it made me have some tough situations. Now, being more prone to physical attacks, having moves like Crunch and Thunder Fang at its disposal, even Spark as well, and later on Wild Charge, that made it really awesome. You can even breed it to learn Ice Fang too, like Luxray has a lot of potential and ability. So, and it was like jet black, like I'm using this like black cat thing to fire Thunderbolts I think, like it's not your typical looking, even though it has those ears, those ears, but even so. I, this is a Pokemon that, you know, I look to, and if they ever do a Diamond and Pearl remake, I'll will very likely have it on my team, so you can expect to see that. Next, um, I'm also very fond of Gen 2 Pokemon, and as a result, Marie, Fluffy, and Ampharos are all Pokemon that I really like. In fact, when I recre I oftentimes will recreate my Gen 2 team, and try to have those Pokemon with me. I don't know why like that team in particular is so near and dear to me, but they are. But Ampharos is this, even though it's a, sh a shaved sheep, it it's like a kangaroo, and I do like kangaroos. And you can check out in my uh, grass Pokemon video that Berlim is a Pokemon that I talked about. Yeah, Ampharos, like you can teach it signal, like it's the signal Pokemon. And you could have it, or is it the beacon? Light. It's the light Pokemon, that's correct. So, it was one of the first and few Pokemon that I actually had learned the move Light Screen and would use it quite often. I didn't really realize just how useful Light Screen was, but 
Eventually, though, as times changed, I got rid of light screen for uh, signal beam because I felt having that bug move would be good against dark types as well as psychics. And then with um, Thunderbolt, and then I used to have it learning Fire Punch, but since Ampharos is more prone to using the um, special attack, I decided to keep go on and teach it, like, even though I kept Iron Tail, I would teach it, like, a different move. If I got one that had Hidden Power Fire, I would go with that. Like, I tried to keep it as um, versatile as my Gen 2 team, because, like, I really put a lot of effort into that team, I guess. I don't really remember. I just always played, and I enjoyed myself. I didn't really think too much about what I was doing. It was just all about having fun with my Pokemon. Um, but... Yeah, when I find whenever I do go back to Ampharos, that is always an enjoyable gameplay experience. It levels up nicely. And then Mega Ampharos came along. And Mega Ampharos... Mega Ampharos gets that big white, like, with spheres in it mean. And then it becomes a dragon. Like, it gets its hair back, but then it... Like, it gets cotton back, but then it becomes a dragon. Like, what is that? That's so weird, right? But then it... Like, using it was always very fun. Like, I never really thought about utilizing the dragon type with Ampharos, but still, it was just there, and I enjoyed using it. Um, but yeah, like I said, my Gen 2 team is very near and dear to me, so of course, Ampharos had to be on this list. And finally, the newest addition to my favorite electric Pokemon, Alolan Raichu. Yeah. Alolan Raichu, just something about those blue eyes, the electric sacks on its cheeks, the, the cut like the darker color with the lighter color, like it kind of reminds me of the shiny Dedene, but at the same time it surfs around on its tail. Like this is a Pokemon that like it gains the new type, and I don't know, it's just and it's got the Surge Surfer. Yeah, like it just seems infinitely cooler, and it just seems like. You know, they revitalized Raichu and brought it into the spotlight because it's always been forgotten because Pikachu in the anime has never evolved and it always outdoes its evolved form. And even Pikachu itself has like things like Light Ball and its own Z Crystals. So poor Raichu gets forgotten. But not anymore. Not anymore. Alone Raichu is pretty cool and I do like its um, Stoked Surge Surfer. Z move in which it just like rides electricity and then crashes down into the opponent. Um, like I said, there's no real rhyme or reason to why I like any of the Pokemon on this list. I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk and semi ramble about them. Um, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and make sure to, you know, support so that I can bring you better Let's Plays of Pokemon. And thank you so much for watching. And do let me know about your favorite electric Pokemon and uh, do check out my Let's Play of Pokemon Sun. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you again for supporting this channel.